Hello everybody, now it's time to finally get rid of this spinning React logo and build something real here. And what I did in the meantime is that I prepared a component for us ready to use. So what you see here is a person React component that lives under source components person and it uses a pre-made uh, UI component from the Miraki UI components library. So what you see here is a lot of components that are ready to use. Um, you can go in there, grab the code, and as long as you have Tailwind CSS, which is a fairly popular CSS utility framework right now, available, it will look pretty nice and decent by just applying these um, CSS classes everywhere. So let's give that a try. So what I do is um, that I will go into my app.js and I will require this component first. So let's do import person from components person.js. So with this, we have a person component, React component available, and we can get rid of this create React app stuff here, and we can say person, and please render me this component here. And now everything is basically blowing up. And, and, and why is that? So when we look at the first warning of this component here, you see that the prop person is marked as required in person, but its value is undefined. Because we're not passing any uh, properties to the person component. So when we go into the person component itself, we see that we have here a function component, which is uh, exported, but it also defines something that is called property types or prop types. And prop types are a way to really nail down what properties are required by this component. So you see there that there is a person property, which is required. And this person then should have a name, a social Twitter, social GitHub and social LinkedIn. So let's implement this. So when we go back here, we can have a look at what data we currently have available. So we can do console log data. So let's have a look here. Everything will refresh now. And dun, 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 dun. Here we have our person available. All right, let's see. And we see that the person only has a name, but we can already pass it. So let's do person and person to get rid of the first error here. Um, of course, we have to define person first. So let's grab person from data. And with this, we should have already the first error that is gone here. Nice. But it now tells us that the property person social Twitter is marked as required. So let's head over to graphical. I already have the query available here and let's see what is available. So to do that, you see here that I have the person definition already available. Remember, we started with our query. We have the person um, field here which then returns a person object. And we see that it returns the sys property linked from, which we'll cover later, a name and an age. So there's nothing like social Twitter, social LinkedIn or something, but luckily we can quickly implement that. So let's go quickly to Contentful and we can go to the content model definition of the person. So we can go here and we can tweak that. So we don't need the age anymore. So let's disable that, save that and delete it. So this is a safety mechanism of Contentful so that you're not randomly delete things first and you can test it with your application first. Now we can quickly refresh and then the H should be gone. And then we can implement the fields that we're interested in. Cool, so we can again pick certain field types here and we can say social Twitter and we can create and configure this one. This looks good, it has this ID and I want to have it as a URL. And then I want to have the same for social GitHub. And we also go with the URL here. And we have another field, which will be social linked in. And also I want to have it look like a URL. Here we go. And now we can save this. And when we now go to the content, we can pick the person. We can first of all get rid of this updated here and we can start adding these URLs because they are required. So I can do Twitter.com and I can do the same with GitHub and I can say HTTPS LinkedIn.com. I'm not sure if that's the right one. We're, we're just going to fly with that one for now and I can save these. So now that we saved the content model and we added some content, what we can do is we can quickly query this person. We can do a refresh with graphical 
And now it just fetched the new um, data that is available. So when we now go to query and we go to person, you see that there are new things available, which we can query now um, using and uh, right by adjusting the query. So we can now say social Twitter, social GitHub, and social LinkedIn. We can try this query and here we go. And now we can copy this query and we can go back to our application. We paste it in here. And now we have already the data available that should be required by the React component. So when we go here, we see that we have no errors anymore. Um, we have links available that are the ones that I stored in Contentful. And it's complaining about one little thing, which is that the logo is not used anymore. And yeah, but apart from that, we now have a little bit of a uh, component already running, which shows us social icons and links. And in the next episode, we will add the image and we'll play around a little bit with Contentful's rich text field. Uh, so see you then.